Brad Ed, thanks for joining us on the Player Diary. It's the, the day of the second test here, but you're out and about in Dunedin. What are you up to? Um, we've just come to watch a school game, uh, met some of the local kids. Um, yeah, just, just having a little wonder and, and showing our faces. How is important is it, Brad, to come and do these things when you're out and touring a country? Yeah, it's great, both for the guys to get out there, experience a bit of what Dunedin has to offer, but then I guess to, to show face and uh, support the local community. I had the guys uh, flipping sausages on the barbecue, um, signing a few autographs. It's, it's nice just to touch base with uh, a few of the Kiwi supporters. So you sense that everybody in this town knows rugby. I've seen you had talking to little kids who asking you how, how much you weighed and then 10 minute conversation <laughs> with the granny over there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of good luck messages, but. Uh, I think uh, they're all rooting for the All Blacks. I think they made that pretty obvious to us. So um, no, they're, they're good people. They've got their feet on the ground and, and it's good to have you know, a little bit of conversation with them. What was she asking you? There's a good 10 minute conversation over there. Actually, she was talking about the locals Dead. moaning about not liking the stadium. I was told about her Scottish roots. Um, there's some dour people in Dunedin, according to this, this lady. So yeah, I got, I got the lowdown on the locals really. One a heart and mind, you think, for the game tonight? Do you think she's going to be supporting England now? Not a chance, no. <laughs> she, she actually walked past and went, good luck, and then decided to turn around and come back and say, actually, no. No, I, I want the All Blacks to win, so I hope you go well. I said, I'm not playing. <laughs> it's a real sense, isn't it, Brad, of Stuart wants to do these things on all the tours. South Africa did community coaching, Argentina as well. It's a real theme of his tours, aren't they, these things? Yeah, it's great for the players to give back a little. I think uh, we all would have experienced it in our early years. When you got to meet uh, senior players and guys who played at the highest level, it's, it's fantastic for you to inspire you to, to bigger and better things. What's the atmosphere like in a team hotel, Brad, on a, on a match day like this? What are the, what are the guys in the squad doing? Yeah, I guess there's always a little bit of an edge. I think uh, guys are just trying to stay occupied, whether it be watching a, a series on their laptops or just having a coffee and, and relaxing, just focusing on the game. Uh, it's usually, as you said, a little bit of an edge. Guys are a little bit nervous, but uh, that's what uh, it requires to, to perform at the highest level. So a lot of relaxing and a lot of guys just taking some time and thoughts to themselves. Do you have guys have a role in supporting them? What's your, what's your role around the camp on a day like today? I think it's best just to offer some support, but largely just to stay out of the way. I think uh, guys have prepared the whole week. The, the team's been assisting the squad in terms of getting them fine-tuned for the game. But I think it's just down to each guy's individual uh, preparation now. Some guys like to come chat, some guys are quite jovial, where a lot like to keep to themselves. So it's just a case of understanding your, your teammates and allowing them to do the thing. Who are the ones that like to stay relaxed before a game? Who are the ones that are still you know, walking around chatting and stuff? Well, there's a few boys that like to play FIFA, so I provided some assistance there. I played with Joe Marler last night. Um, Building his confidence up or knocking it down on FIFA? He, he was knocking my confidence, really, to be honest. He's a bit of a mean person like that. So um, we played against Owen Farrell and, and Ben Youngs, and I think we lost about 4 0. And by the end of it, we were, we were arguing a lot. I've heard some whooping coming from that area of the, the team room. Have you been down there at all, Brad, playing FIFA? Um, I've, I've observed a little bit of FIFA. I haven't played much, uh, partly because the reason there's some pretty experts in the team. So I uh, don't want to crush my confidence too much either. Very proud to show off our new unit to the um, players, so I'm glad that they've enjoyed it. But, like we've been looking forward to um, players coming all week, but, like all who's going to come, and um, it really, I mean, the kids have been looking forward to it this morning. They've been excited, as you can see in the playroom. We've had kids staying to see the players come, and then they get to go home some of them. So. <laughs> Ben, Alex, thanks for joining us on the Player Diary. Just on the captain's run here at the AMI Stadium. What are your impressions, Alex? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a brilliant stadium. Obviously, it's uh, been put up pretty quick with regards to the earthquake, but... Um, Good knowledge, uh, Rob. Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. cheers. Cheers, little fat. I learned there. there. Yeah. <laughs> Just slip that in early before you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but no, no, it's looking good. Looking forward to playing it tomorrow at the full house. 
You missed a chance to spend to come here during the World Cup, of course, because of that devastating earthquake. How important do you think it is for England to come back here and play another game? Yeah, it's good. It's good for the, the place um, and, and good for the team. Uh, you know, these games are important for us to guys like Wally who's going to get a chance to run out there and show what he can do on an international stage and uh, to take on one of the best teams in Super 15 rugby is a, is a great thing, great challenge for us to take on and hopefully we can uh, put our hands up for selection for that final third test. As you say, the coaches are viewing it as a, like a fourth test match or fourth in the tour. Is that how the players are seeing it too, Alex? I think so, yeah. I think obviously there's, a, there's some lads here that want to put their hands up leading into the World Cup, so obviously it's a chance for those lads that haven't had the opportunity in the test to put their hands up and, and lads like myself who are on their first tour to try and, uh, try and establish themselves. Alex on his first tour, as you just mentioned. Tell me a bit about the man that's going to make his first appearance in England. Shirt. Loves his ice baths. Um, just, did you just do your yeah, ice bath? Yeah, one, just yeah. did one. Yeah, just did an ice bath then. <laughs> uh, no, he's been he's been good. He's a good tourist, well, um, good boy. Obviously, club mate, so we know what he's about. But he's a front row forward, so he's not allowed to hang around with the elite, the backs. Yeah. So you know, we don't intermix. So Ben's not looking after you then. You're on the tour. Doesn't seem to do that to him at all. No, no. Uh, this is the first time we spoke. Um, but uh, <laughs> we haven't really spoke. We no, just, just speaking to you. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No. No. We all play cows together and stuff. That's about as much we see at the backs. But um, and he's like that under Dills' arms. Yeah. Away. Just Dills. <laughs> Dills looks after me a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah some, <laughs> good to have so many lads from the club here. Obviously, help me settle in a bit better and. Um, but now sort of integrated with the whole squad, it's fantastic. One would tell you're an immaculate roommate though, talking about stalking, hunting, fishing, all those kind of things. Is that true? Yeah, he made me look like a right... Very dark, sinister room, <laughs> yeah. is that what you're saying? He made me That's look like a right normal <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I saw that. I thanked him for that. But no, um, yeah, obviously into my hunting a bit with, and, and Woody got me into it. Obviously not quite on the same nor scale as Woody, but um, but no, I do sit and listen to him talk about bow hunting and... and Gutting I'll, animals. I'll, yeah, and, I'll, yeah, all that lovely I'll lend stuff. an ear to it, but... Um, but no, we did find ourselves in a hunting shop the other day and we have a little look around. So, uh, <laughs> but they, yeah, he was a good roommate. Moved this this week in with Luther Burrell. Bit of a change of scenery. Completely different bloke. Yeah! <laughs> 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 you get the rent of the scale. Um, so no, yeah, me and Luther are chilling out now. So it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's good to have so many boys, like I said, on tour. Helps me out a bit. Who are you room with, Ben? What's uh, it like? I'm with Dicko. Steady, steady room partner? Yeah, no, we've, we've roomed with each other for ages. So, you know, he looks after me, tells me when all the meetings are, that sort of thing. Uh, you know wakes me up when I have a little snooze. So it's good, brings the sweets. So I, I don't eat them, obviously. <laughs> Body's a temple. <laughs> Just finally, what's the atmosphere like being in camp this week and how important is this chance to really boost the tour with, with the first win, do you think? Yeah, it's always important. Obviously, we always knew it was going to be a tough <laughs> ask and it, to come here and, and play New Zealand on their own patch. But as we've seen from the boys, we've run them close twice. Um, we'll take a lot of confidence from that. And, you know, it's all about building momentum towards the World Cup. And if we can get things onto a winning start here with this game and then hopefully give the boys a bit of a bounce in the step to take to their final test. And if we win that, then we'll look forward to New Zealand revisiting us at Twickenham uh, and hopefully putting down a statement there.